Famous people are so dramatic. Oh, I'm gonna leave my husband for five days. Oh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna kidnap a child. What? Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey y'all, it's Kyla Denayo and welcome to Kyla's Reading Day. So today we are talking about the book, The Christie Affair. The author of this book is Nina de Gramont. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is historical literature. So this book was quite unexpected, but very, very good, okay? A wife is cheating, a husband is cheating, and you get to hear about it from the mistress's point of view, okay? Why? Why not? <laughs> Christy, Agatha Christy, and her husband, Archie Christy. And let me tell you, Nano Day, that's the woman that is cheating with Archie. The book was so fascinating because like I had to look up Agatha Christie. And yeah, that Agatha Christie, the one that wrote about Hercule Poirot, right? The whole um, murder on the Orient Express, that Agatha Christie. I had to look it up. Did she disappear for five days? Did she have a child? Was she married to someone named Archie? Right? And by far the most fabulous thing about the book was, who is Nina? The author. Is she like the great great grandchild of Nano Day? Or did she read something by Agatha Christie and say, I bet I could come up with a storyline that would be absolutely brilliant featuring her family. Right? Like, oh, so talented. <laughs> Such a talented writer. Okay? But let's get into one of my favorite quotes of the book. And that is right here. We believe what furthers our own cause. Dang. You adhere to the mission at hand. You believe what furthers your own cause, right? And this was said when they were investigating Agatha Christie and they were like, did she disappear? Why would she disappear? What would be her motive? Well, she thought what she was doing was going to improve her life. She thought it was gonna help out her marriage. She needed some time, so she left for five days, right? And it's just like, yeah, she believed her own mission at hand and she kept on going, right? So absolutely fascinating. And the reason why that quote is so important is because you get to see that show up for Nano Day, for Archie Christie, and for Agatha Christie, where true or not, right or wrong, you know, they believed what was happening. They believed the narrative of their own story. They believed that they were the hero of their own story. And yeah, they kept right on pushing. Oh, my wife is okay, but I think I'm gonna sleep with this lady. And of course I have reason to, because she's not my wife. <laughs> Good, bad, ugly. And it kept pushing forward towards that narrative, okay? So absolutely fascinating. Like that rang true for every single character in the book, even with Finbar, right? He even got to see some of that, where you were just like, Finbar, let it go. but. He was pushing forward towards his own mission at hand, okay? So unexpectedly, really great book. I was I was expecting some historical fiction, funny, funny, you know? Um, actually, the cover made me think of City of Girls. So if you haven't read that, that's based in a similar era. And that's what this made me think of. But no, this, this absolutely blew my mind, <laughs> okay? So... With all of that said, would I reread The Christie Affair? I would not, I would not, I would not. I will not miss Nan or Agatha or Finbar. I thought it was cute that they called each other AC, but I won't even miss Archie. I mean, I like Teddy, the little girl was sweet, but no, I would not reread The Christie Affair, but it was definitely a page turner. By the time I got in there, it was a really good book, so, okay? So thank you for hanging out with me today on Kyla's reading day as we discuss the book, The Christie Affair, okay? Let me know, have you read this book? Do you enjoy historical fiction? And I will see you next time on Kyla's reading day. <laughs> Bye.